The Cannabis Cup is kicking off in Netherlands right now as we film this show. Here to tell us more about that and some other cool facts, Tobias from the Tahoe Endless Co-op in which we share a wall with you guys right here. We do. Or, or yeah. next door neighbors. So you come in often and you, you're, uh, you've always got the calendar of events, a slew of events. We'll get into those. Yeah. But you wanted to change it up and talk about 10 facts about cannabis. First, marijuana is a slander of cannabis. So you never even talk, you never call it marijuana. Try right? not you call to, it yeah, cannabis, cannabis, right? See it so as talk about that theory, that yeah. fact. To see it as more of a medicine, marijuana was brought in through uh, prohibition times, seen more as a term for uh, slander. Like a derogatory term to put fear in people and make them not want it as much, right? Basically a propaganda scheme. Right, yeah. okay. Okay, so some slander there. Um, Let's talk about this one right here. Speaking of Netherlands and the Cannabis Cup going on right now in Amsterdam, yep. cannabis use rates in the Netherlands are similar to those in the U.S. despite very different policies. That's very How true. do they differ? The Netherlands has basically a decriminalization across the board uh, where we still have it as seen as state rights and seen uh, represented through the states. Uh -huh. And the federal government has yet to fully sway. So, so the fact there is that it's legal but it's not getting out of control and, and everybody's grandma's smoking it and, and just for the, for the hell of it. Exactly. It, it's the still staying, because like, people are going to make the choices one way or the other, I would say. Yeah. So why not legalize it, tax it, get some tax money for, the, for Obama. And you don't yeah. criminalize grandma. <laughs> right. And you don't criminalize because you've heard those stories, right? Yeah. yeah I've, I've definitely heard those stories. Uh, let's exactly. get it. Let's go into another one. There is no compelling evidence that cannabis con contributes substantially to traffic accidents and fatalities. When people are mixing it with alcohol or something, there could be a problem, but strictly cannabis, no problems there. That's very true. There's studies that have even come forth saying that regular cannabis users, uh, when they're not using cannabis to drive, are worse drivers that they are better drivers when they are medicated. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen that too. I have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next, um, <laughs> cannabis ca has not been shown to cause long-term cognitive impairment. Explain that one. So short-term memory as well as long-term memory are both uh, possibly affected by cannabis use, but at the same time, no study has fully come forth showing the sort of evidence that uh, Pointing point A to point B, right? Okay, there. and then that also followed up by cannabis has not been shown to cause mental illness. That's very true. Okay. Where uh, there is no studies that have come forth with that sort of claim or statement. Hmm. All right. So that's for the one. You get in there. There's ten right here on the on the brochure that he bought in. Come on in to one of his few or many many. Um, Calendar of events. Up. We've got uh, Buy Nothing Day. I like this. Instead of Black Friday, instead of going out and buying a bunch of stuff, stick it to them, right? Don't and if you do, it. shop local. Shop local if you have to. Right. And uh, it's a Buy Nothing Day. It's just kind of put out there by Adbusters. It's another organization. Not even a awesome. gallon of milk? Not, what you if survive? you're thirsty, you got to <laughs> survive. That's fine. That's um, and then uh, one of your bigger events that you're looking forward to on the 30th, a new uh, seminar, Fit Club. Talk about that real quick. Sure. Brittany is a new volunteer with us. She's going to be coming forth with a 25-minute fast cardio, fast sort of workout. And get, just get your blood pumping. Get yourself psyched for the snow season, for the mountain just opened up. Is she hot? I No comment. <laughs> get in there. See for yourself. I'm going to go check it out then and get ready for the ski season. You should. All right, so that's a wrap here on Tahoe tonight's interview. Stick with us. We've got more.